Georgia, it's been a big year since winning the Women's British Open last year. Just if you can, describe how your life has changed over the course of this year. Yeah, I think, well, I'm still the same person and the same golfer, but I think I have that extra confidence when I go into other events. And, um, you know, I know that I can play under that pressure and hit the shot at the right time. And um, I think it's, you know, I'm very excited to go and defend it this year and to play in, you know, my home country again and I think have a lot more people support me I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is the final game and the final round of the Rico Women's British Open Championship 2018. On the tee from England, Georgia Hall. It's pretty nervous but uh, I just thought I didn't want to let this moment slip really. I, you know how many times would you be one shot off the lead to win the British Open and um, when I finished, it was just a relief, and uh, I was so happy. And to actually have done it quite young, well, very young, I think it's a very big achievement. And hopefully, I can win some more in the future. Do you think the fact that you were quite young, you know, obviously, uh, perhaps playing without fear, weren't you? I mean, you, you, you hadn't been necessarily in that position before, but you were able just to take it, take it by the scruff of the neck, and, and, and do yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's because I wanted it so much. Because when I was younger, you know, I used to try and hold 10 footers and 15 footers. This is going to win the British Open, or this for, to win the Siam Cup. So um, I think I just didn't want to let anything get away from me. And, the, she was playing so well, um, girl came second and uh, she's kept battling, battling and then um, I hold a really good putt on 16, I think, uh, yeah, for birdie and that kind of, I think, finished the event then and I'm, yeah, I was just so happy to win. Are you someone who looks at scoreboards as you go around? There's obviously quite a few at a major, so it, it does add that, that extra pressure perhaps. Yeah, I don't know people who can't look at them because they're so big and bright. Last year they were so, they were so red and like massive, you can't not look at them and you know when you're in the final round you need to know where you are because no one wants to come second so and you know if you need to go for it 15 was um, like a par five you can get it on two so if I was behind or you know you go you go for that shot um, but yeah I, I, I kind of do sometimes look at leaderboards. And then obviously you get to 18 you, you pretty much have it in the bag I mean just describe for people who, at home who will never get to walk down 18 as a, you know, knowing that they're about to win the, the Women's British show. How does that feel? Well, 18 at Royal Lytham is not a hole really you want as the 18th. Uh, bunkers all across the fairway. So I hit three wood and uh, went a bit left, but it was fine. And um, I had a four iron in on a part four, so I had a three shot lead and everyone's just lined up and gathered um, watching me. And uh, I hit it on the green and I was like, okay, I've done this now. And I just rolled it up. Um, got a bogey, I was quite happy with that and uh, yeah it was definitely a relief and I could actually kind of smile and think wow this is an incredible moment. It was really lovely to see and obviously you had your dad with you which I guess made it extra special as well. Yeah it's, uh, it's so nice to have him there and my mum and boyfriend walking around and it's very special for me and him to experience that and uh, he's helped me growing up and you know with my golf um, since I started and uh, you know, I'm sure it was a kind of a, it was a dream for both of us and to have him there with me is very, very special and uh, I think he's very proud. The sacrifices obviously parents make, I mean, you must see it yeah. now at the professional level, but also at the amateur level, you know just what parents go through week in, week out, watching their sons and daughters play. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he he went to practice for me all the time and uh, there's some stuff, you know, they've done to help with my golf that I didn't know about. and. Uh, yeah, I've got a younger brother and sister, so they also had to kind of not go places sometimes because of me. And um, I'm happy that it's you know paid off, and uh, yeah, we can achieve like as a family together. Uh, playing in front of home fans is obviously something you'll get to do again this year at Woburn. And what is that like when you've got it, what feels like the whole gallery supporting you? It must be. Amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah, it, it doesn't make me nervous at all. I'm just so happy that they've they can come out and support me and. Uh, I got loads of social media messages from little girls saying that I've gone to the range because of you and you inspire me. So that's very, it made me smile and hopefully that I can inspire younger girls to take up the game. And we can't let you go without talking about the Solheim Cup as well, which is obviously on the agenda after the British Open. You're hopefully going to be, be in that team. What will it mean to, to represent your country? Uh, I mean everything. Um, it's such a special week and to have Katrina as captain in Scotland, uh, you couldn't ask for much better. And, um, I played with her in my last hole, I'm actually as my partner and she's a very good golfer and a very nice person so 
um, yeah, fingers crossed. I, you know, I really hope I'm on the team. Like all 12 players when they get picked, will be hoping right now. And uh, I just love being a team environment, and it is very different. But uh, yeah, I think we'll get a lot of support and playing a different format. So it's fun. I love match play, so I think that would be. Uh, very interesting, you play a bit of tactics as well, you just have to beat that person. When I play at the British, you've got to beat 140 odd players, so um, yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun. Georgia, thanks for joining us and uh, good luck defending your title. Thank you.